So we all know about friends with benefits, right? But in the spiritual world, you know what I've noticed? Friends with conditions. I'm going to speak exactly from my own experience and the things that I have done myself. So if you've ever sort of started to embark on a journey to self-discovery or ascension or whatever words you want to use, I, I feel like I've overdone those words and, and saying them is just getting so boring. But along that journey, what you learn is a whole plethora and a whole world of new information. What you find out is that there are things ideas, stories, beliefs, whatever it is that align to you or things that you you feel like you're connected to in the moment. If you think about the, the people who, who are in your life or your friends or your family and you would have a group of friends and just say one person likes golf and the other person likes football, you're still friends with both those people even though they have two different interests. But with spirituality, what I've noticed, if one person believes in crystals and the other person believes in dragons and you don't align with one or the other, well, then you're no longer friends. Versus where you were before, if someone just liked football and someone just liked golf, they'd still be your friends. You just wouldn't share that particular sport with that person because you weren't interested. But now it's... Okay, we're friends, we're talking about this thing, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I've just learned something new. I've changed my mind a little bit in what I believe. I can no longer align with you. And this is something I've done over and over and over again. I have connected with people. I have heard them talk about something. I've listened to them share something. I've embraced it with, oh my God, I need more information. Quick, tell me everything, everything, everything. And then at some stage, I will learn something new or I will change my beliefs or I will change my knowing. And it's, no, don't align with that anymore. Unfriend. And it's just interesting because when we view this whole spiritual journey and, and this journey to becoming one and part of this universal essence, that we're literally throwing a people away constantly because our beliefs don't align with each other and I've noticed that with people as well there'll be there'll be ones who'll be in your energy all the time because of something you're talking about as soon as you change your topic as soon as you change your your viewpoint oh no there's no more support there's no more friendly messages there's no more encouraging you when you are creating or speaking your voice and I get that. I understand the the more we step into and the more we uncover those layers of who we are and, and what we believe in, even if it is something that's constantly changing, we do have that choice to to hold people close or far away or not in our energetic space or in our world. And this can be super difficult if you were anything like me and you were changing your mind every minute because you were just discovering new things and understanding new things. And I'm just in a place now I've just decided to create my own because there's too much confusion and there's too many, <laughs> too many people's opinions out there that I've just decided to create my own. It's like, well, how do you find people who are going to align with that? So the only way you can is to keep speaking what you are believing in the moment and then find the people that are going to connect with you, even if it is only for a short time and while they're feeling aligned with you. I know this is a bit ranty and a bit incoherent, but it's just really interesting to, to see the difference a week, a few weeks, a few months can take in, in what or who you are surrounding yourself with in your physical world, in your online space, in your business world, and how quickly it can change just when you decide to change your opinion or change your thought. And and a good example of, of how this happens is when my husband passed away and we had our group of friends and they were aligned with the things that we used to do as a couple. So when you're no longer a couple, the things I was finding that I was interested in or the things that we were doing no longer aligned with me as an individual. So are you still friends with those people when you no longer have anything in common? 
So I chose not to be friends with these people anymore because I had nothing I could relate to anymore. And back, I feel like it's two different worlds saying, oh, pre-spiritual and after spiritual. It's, it's, it's like these different mindsets. It's, you would still tolerate people. You would still hang out with people, even if they had different ideas, even if they were a different religion, even if they believed in something totally different to you, you would still be friends with them. You would still hang out with them. Yet in this new world of existing and being in alignment and, and looking after your own energy, we find it more acceptable where we can just attach and unattach to people in a way that aligns for us. And I don't have any answers or any opinion on, on what is right and what is wrong. It's just something that I've really noticed lately is as my voice has changed, how the people who were in your world no longer align with that message. And I honestly believe that it's this is part of what we're supposed to be doing. This is part of our journey. This is where we are moving to is finding enough power within our voice, with our own creation and our own our own reality that we choose to exist in right now and being in that space without anyone else agreeing with us, without anyone attaching to us and knowing that it is right because it's right for us right now. How do we not know that the only reason there's been a creation of a God or this source or this oneness or this existence outside of us because we just don't have enough belief in ourselves that we are it, that we hold all the power, not this external source outside of us. What if it's just us and no one's really figured it out? All these things that we have created around us in order for us to to exist or or to attach to or to believe into in the moment has just been created to allow us to move through it and see through on the other side exactly that it's all us. There's there's nothing else but us. And whilst this incoherent rambling comes with no conclusions and no assistance, it's it's really there for an expansion of the mind. It's for people to think about other things that people are saying and you will instantly reject or you will open your mind or you will agree. It's the only thing that happens when we listen to other people and none of it's right or wrong. It's just the codes that are built within your human, within your physical body, which I believe in this moment are particles of stardust from so many existences that's why we attract two different things in different time and it's just the different frequencies and the different vibrations all these different tones and codes that come to the surface and match to different things at different times but if you made it this far into this video <laughs> and you've experienced that or you don't experience that i'd love to know and i know i'm not I'm sure many people say this, so I'm not like everyone else, but I do have some pretty pretty big out there views and I do pretty pretty well think way outside the realm. But I'd love to know if other people have experiences, these these friends that align with you and then don't align just because of the slightest tweak in your opinion or or your voice or you do it yourself. Are you someone who does that, who who used to like someone's posts and used to be all up in their energy and now just can't stand even hearing their voice. I'd love to know if there's other people like me and if, or even if you're experiencing it from the other side. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Thank you.